learning Fijian was pretty tough for me, um, but it's fun because I've kind of come full loop because now I'm a teacher of Fijian at the MTC. Um, I remember starting out, <laughs> the pronunciation is a little bit different. Your C in English, it's the ka sound. Um, in Fijian, it makes like the TH sound, like you're going to say the or something. It's the the noise is the C. D, there's like a, an N before it that's not written, it's nd. So like something's right, ndondonu. And G is the nga sound, which is the hardest thing for palangis or uh, white people. Um, it's like the end of sing. If you're like sing a song, the nga and sing is that noise. You hear that all the time. And the Q is the nga. Um, there's just a little bit different pronunciation. But the vowels are a, a, e, o, u. Same with all the Polynesian languages. You just have your a, a, e, o, u. So that's nice. You combine them. A, u is au. You combine vowels and just make it. It sounds really pretty, I think. There's a ton of dialects too. There's over 200 dialects in Fijian. Every village has their own dialect and every province kind of has their own dialect going on. So some are really similar to the main one, which is Vosovan Bao, is the main dialect. It's what we teach at the MTC. It's what almost all Fijians can understand and speak Vosovan Bao. And then to their own different places, they will have their own dialect also. And if you're able to pick up the dialect, um, then you are even more popular with them. They are even more ready to listen to what you have to say because of the time you're taking to learn it. Um, uh, instead of like Tuvalu, and they have the faka prefix for a verb. In Fijian, it's vaka with a V. And they don't say their Vs like English. In English, we go va. They use their lips and go va. So it's like vaka. And to say like you're grateful, it's vaka vina vinakataka. Um, and one of the dialects I learned, you drop the K for all words, and then some words you just change it up a little bit. And the taka, um, if you're going to be, it's one of your transitive endings, so if there's going to be an object to the verb, you change it up. So one of the dialects, instead of saying waka vina vinakataka to be grateful, you'd say waka vina vinakataina. So just mix it up a little bit, but it's really fun. It's fun to learn the dialects. It's fun to ask the members. They're always willing to help you. Um, you're going to say, hey, how do you speak this? How do you say this in Fijian? And they'll help you out. And it kind of grammatically, it's different than English. You're third person. Instead of saying, like, God loves us, you'd say, he loves us, God. And same with Tuvalu. And so your grammar is going to get messed up. And when I came home from my mission, my English was horrible. And my inflection in the voice, because they go all over the place. And when I got home, I'd do that with my English. And I got made fun of all the time. But it's all right. I thought it was worth it. Just dive right into the language. And uh, for me, the easiest way to learn it, I tried in the MTC and I kind of struggled learning out of a book. Uh, I learned a lot when I just was able to be there and be with the natives and hear them speak it. And if I'd seen something like in a book and I heard it spoken, then it really clicked in my brain. I was like, oh, I remember studying that. And I hear it spoken and then I try to uh, mimic that and just being with the members and being with the investigators and with the natives and trying and being okay with messing up, being okay with getting made fun of uh, is how I learned. I remember my first Sunday, I stood up at the pulpit because they asked me to bear my testimony and I couldn't say, I was trying to say my brothers and sisters, um, I couldn't say because of the G sound and I was just like and I couldn't uh, pronunciate it correctly and they all just start laughing at me and I just start laughing with them and we're all having a good time. And uh, being able to laugh at yourself and accept that you're not going to be good at it for a long time uh, will help you to learn it because you'll just keep trying. As you try, you learn, and as you learn, you can grow and you get better. So.